I found a store that has over 7,000 Funko Pops in it, and today we're gonna be going. It's called Jerry's Toys, and it's pretty far away, so we should uh, probably get going. And just like that, everybody, we made it to Jerry's Toys, so let's go check it out. Okay, so we are inside, and I just wanna show you guys this room here, because look at it, guys. It is wall-to-wall -wall Funko Pops. And now, before I even take a look at any of the Pops, I wanted to show you guys these Wacky Wobblers, which is what Funko created before they started doing Pops, and it looks like they have a ton of them, along with a bunch of ad icons, and if they're for sale, I don't know if they're in the bin here, I'll probably have to get a few. And now I gotta show you guys this wall because this is the Disney ones and there is a lot of stuff. And I know you guys have been watching me try to complete the first set and I did do a little bit of looking just like right at the beginning when we first walked in. And so far I'm not seeing anything that I need yet for the original set, but I am seeing some other stuff here like Cinderella as well as the Evil Queen. So maybe if we need some of these ones in the future, we could come back here. But then I'm also looking around. We've got like, oh, this one's funny. From, yeah, Coraline, Mr. Bobinski with Mouse. Definitely a weird character to see. But anyways, I'm just kind of going through this here and kind of panning through slowly because like, I mean, come on guys, there's too many figures here to show off every single one, but I'm going to try my best. And I also want to mention guys that this is still the first room that I'm in right now. And there's a bunch of Marvel ones over here. And actually now that I look at it, it seems like the Marvel ones go all the way across. Yeah, it does. Like we've got like the glow in the dark, dead strange, a bunch of Spider-Man. We've also got Miles Morales Mysterio with the light up version, which is really cool to see. And then we've also got a bunch of Deadpool, Spider-Man, some other, now we're getting into the DC stuff actually. And one that I'm noticing that is really cool is the clay face from the animated series. That thing's amazing. Oh, and it looks like they also have some like brand new ones too because this is the first time I've ever seen Moon Girl. I wonder if they have double dinosaur around here somewhere. And then of course, guys, we've got one more side over here with a bunch of Batman figures. Ooh, that could be cool to go for something today because if you guys don't know, I try to pick up pretty much every Batman I can find and it looks like they even have some of the original ones here. Like, yeah, this is literally the number one Batman. And if you take a look on the back, here's series one right here as well as series two at the bottom. Oh, and I didn't even notice on the other side here, we've got more wacky wobblers and i'm noticing like this one here from hmv this is them in their star trek uniforms as well as oh mr bill look at this one. Oh, that's funny from snl oh and then i didn't even notice right above that guys we also have the mr potato head as well as mr monopoly and penny that's pretty cool now everybody this was the first room and i want to move over to this side over here which is another section of figures and i believe this seems to be like television and movies i i think so i'm like oh check this out guys i know lego's been doing a lot with the lord of the rings and it seems like we've got a bunch of lord of the rings pops over here here as well as the hobbit a little bit i think and then down here we've got a bunch of directors which is really cool to see them we've got harry potter and a bunch of that as well um we've also got a bunch of rocks characters with like notorious big migos johnny cash a wide variety of them now here's one you don't see every day guys the baskin robbins exclusive mini puffed with ice cream scoop now it seems like i've come more into the video game section because we've got like some of the warhammer ones over here as well as well as like just games in general now that i'm saying warhammer but also we've got like crash bandicoot and a lot of them then also guys a bunch of Overwatch figures. And I know that Nate pointed this one out, so I figured I might as well show it. If you guys want to check it out, it is like one of the original Diablo ones. I don't remember the last time I saw this thing in person. Now, Nate, I actually see you eyeballing some figures. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. I think you know why. Yeah, I uh, see what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's often you see this many Overwatch pops. In no. I mean, I showed these ones down here, so I've got these ones and the big ones. Yeah, and I am more of into the, like the bigger, like, six inch pops i guess so yeah i don't know the reinhardt one looks really cool i do see winston up there that's true bastion as well Ooh, there's a like to give you uh, like a recommendation wait actually which big one do you have do you have diva i have diva oh because i was gonna say the diva blizzard exclusive have, up there's really cool I have, I have a diva blizzard exclusive actually i think the uh, do you have the black one the nano cola one Oh, that's GameStop E3, maybe? Well, it's different, though. This one's the black suit, anyways, is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, the carbon fiber one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now, hold on. Noah's on the floor here looking at other figures. What have we got? Some Warhammer. Because I saw some down here, and then it was behind. Oh, yeah. and I also want to show this off. I know, Noah, you said you wouldn't be able to do this one, because we talked about it a little while ago. But I still kind of want to get this. I don't, it doesn't even, I don't know. Like, if it's not too much, this could be a fun one to go for, just because, of course, Warhammer is a lot of painting the figures. Okay, now, this is weird. No, I'm getting a little lower here, because apparently it's not the same figures behind. No, They're all different, so dude. you could really be here, guys, for this hours doing this. Duty ones. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Brutus. Is it Ghost? There's Brutus, too. Brutus. That's cool. Is there all guild up? You gotta check for that. Gilly. Let me show this. Gildy? Gildy? Oh, wait, no, what, which no, one is wait, it? No, one? is it? Is it Juggernaut? Yeah. 
Oh, my gosh. can I show them a name? Absolutely. Look at this. Oh, do they have the normal monkey ball? That's amazing. They're looking at the Call of Duty ones. I wanted to show you guys these because they have a bunch of the Pac-Man set. We've got Inky, Pinky, and Blinky. And if they have any other ones, I might go for them. Is it different in the back there? Okay, I'm seeing another Blinky. They have Clyde over there. And I believe the only ones I have are Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. So this could be fun to go for today. Now, guys, here is the animation section with a bunch of Simpsons ones. Like, it just keeps going down. And then I also noticed, I know Nate might be interested in these. They've got a lot of the Transformers ones down at the bottom there. We've got Seinfeld. This one here is, I believe, Bojack Horseman. Yeah, it is. Really funny to see Mr. Peanut Butter. And then we've also got like a bunch of the Office ones. I don't know why I blanked on that, as well as Bob Ross, E.T. And I think even some of these are maybe the originals. Like I think this one is, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and I didn't even notice they also have the original Elliot. And I did see that the actor for Elliot is gonna be at Niagara Falls Comic Con. So this could be a fun one to grab. But then again, I do already have the new one. So I'll probably just go with this. Oh, but you know what? Hold on. Is this the original E.T.? Okay, that is something I might want to go for. But I mean, there's so many things here. It's going to be hard to pick. So I'll probably just like kind of go through the entire store then let you guys know at the end what I'm going to be grabbing or what I did grab. And then this one here. Ooh, okay. Um, Domo Slimer. I mean, this is one you do not see very often. I'm probably going to hold on to this. Oh, and down here, guys, check this out. A bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. And I know that you guys are big fans. Them or a lot of you guys are. And these are some that I might want to go for today. The problem is there's just so many cool figures. I don't know what, but like that Bon Bon would be one that would be amazing. And then also lower than that, they've got a bunch of the new ones, some of the tie-dye figures, as well as Balloon Boy, which is definitely a weird one. And I know for this one here, the balloon is so heavy that it kind of falls down. But this one looks pretty clean. Okay, we can't to the next style and there's something that I wanted to show you guys because I know Rye the Pop guy would be a big fan of these. He recently just got into WWE and they've got like the Hardy Boys, Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair. We've also got like Brie and Nikki which is a WWE exclusive and it's cool because this is how the two packs used to look like. Now they're like this but they used to have it so like the fronts were almost like a normal pop box but like flipped. And then as we keep going over we've got like Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, just a lot of amazing stuff. And then at the end of the same aisle we've got a bunch of the retro toys as well as ad icons and it's cool to see all of these Jeffries together there might be the most that I've seen besides my collection here at one store. Oh, and then way at the top there, guys, check this out. We've got like Willy Wonka, Oompa Loompa, Grandpa Joe, Augustus Gloop, almost all of the ones, or maybe all of them from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, this is something you don't see every day, guys. The amount of pocket pops they've got here, and they're all from different stores to like exclusives. I see FYE, EB Games. I think I'll see Hot Topic, GameStop, like special edition, really interesting things. Oh, and then also I found a shelf below that with a bunch of sodas, and I might go for one or two today. Like, I still need that Stan Lee chase. That could be interesting. And now for this section here, I think I'm just going to kind of walk through it because it's a lot of anime as well as like animation. And I know that a lot of you guys like that, but I don't know too much about them. But we've got like Inuyasha up here as well as like Attack on Titan. And then over on this side, we've got like Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, and you have a golden Shenron pop up there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Nate. I uh, I have that one. No, no, we'll keep it in. Sorry. I, I have it. What well, is now that you said it, it is now, Nate. This entire thing's gonna be is in the it, video. This is making it? Uh, maybe. This is it should be. Is it? Let me know. Now here's something that I totally passed by when we were first walking in. I mean, there's just so many figures. I was excited. I, I, I didn't know what to do, but like, check this out guys. It's all chases over here. And I'm thinking I might go for one today that I actually used to have in the collection. Then I sold it for some reason. I don't know why, but it's the Minecraft tuxedo cat. Let me see if I can get that down. I mean, come on guys, this thing looks amazing. And if you take a look on the back, this was all they had for a little while. It's a pretty cool figure. Now everybody, I've come into the more expensive area of the store and they've got some really, really interesting stuff. Like check this one out guys, Ryan. I know, I believe this might be a Walgreens. Oh no, it's a Marvel Collector Core one. And then also they do have some of the original ones too. I believe from the Avengers. Yeah, okay, this is neat. So I did get, which one was it? It was Thor a little while ago. So maybe to complete this set, this could be fun to do eventually. But for now, I mean guys, there's so many other things that I probably want to go for. And now this is of course guys, what I was talking about, the Disney section. And as I was talking about earlier, I was looking for some of the original ones, but I don't know if I want to get these ones today or save them for a big video. But the problem is this is the Mike Wazowski that we need. So it's like, Ah, do I do it? It's a tough call. But now don't worry, the reason I wouldn't be getting is because I'd be grabbing something else cool. And I noticed over here that they do have a bunch of the Muppets, and the ones that stood out to me was Manamana, Gonzo, Dr. Teeth, and I think out of these ones here, the only one that I have is Sam the Eagle, so Miss Piggy could be cool too. And then let me just back up a little bit to show you guys some other stuff that they've got, like some other Batman ones, and I'm guessing that's probably the Chase one. Oh, and then lower, we've got a bunch of the Freddy Funkos, and then down here even farther, we've got more of them, and it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. Let me just grab one of them here. 
here to see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, so we've got like the Nerd Freddy, and then I think this one over here might be the, oh, it's Pop Asia. Um, I don't know, Monkey King, perhaps? Yeah, that's what it is. I gotta say, that was a good guess on my part, but really cool figure to see. Oh, and now hold on, this is something that's really neat. They've got the zombie one as well, Sunflower, Conehead Zombie, and Pea Shooter from Plants vs. Zombies. Now, I have Conehead Zombie, but I don't have any of the other ones. So maybe, just maybe, guys, this could be another one that we could go for today. I mean, come on, this thing is just so unique. Okay, everybody, so that was Jerry's Toy. Seriously, an amazing store if you've never been. There's like 7,000 Funko Pops in there. And I know it was kind of hard to show everything, but I ended up picking up about four to $500 worth of stuff. So let's go back to the office and take a look at everything that I grabbed. Alrighty, everybody, now that we're back, let's go through everything that I picked up. Because sure, it's only two bags, but like I said in the parking lot, we spent like four to $500 on these guys. And that's because they don't just have figures you can find over at GameStop, Target, Walmart, the usual places. They had some really rare stuff. And so let's start with this one here, which is the Pop Games Atlas from Portal 2. I am actually a huge fan of this game, and I've watched people play through it like four or five times. You know what's funny? Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever played, though. But the cool thing is, with me now having these characters, because I didn't just get Atlas, I I also ended up getting Peabody. I now have the entire set. I found out while we were there that Noah had Shell, and so I had Turret. And yeah, that's all four of them. And I mean, just taking a look at them, they are such nice figures with the details, and I think the only thing that really makes them look like a pop is their eye in the middle. Also, something that I wanted to show you guys that I thought was really unique is the backside of the boxes, because they actually have portals on them, and the figures kind of go through each one. Because you can see Atlas is on part of this box, but then also over here for his box. Kind of weird. Then everybody, I got this. This one, and I believe I did show you this while we were in the store, but it is actually the Domo Slimer, because for a little while there, they were turning Domo into anything. And I have the Domo Ghostbuster in my collection, which now makes two of them out of the three in the set. And if you guys want to check it out on the back side here, the only one I'm missing now is Stay Domo. So if I ever see it in the future, I will probably pick it up, because honestly, they're not that expensive. And I'm also really enjoying the slime on this one, and how they made it look kind of translucent, and also like oozing at the same time. Now we've got these three here, and it's kind of funny. I got a lot of them from the pop games category. Actually, most of them. Because another figure that I got, and I believe I showed you guys, but I didn't tell you exactly which one I was going to be getting, was Inky from Pac-Man. And it's actually my first ghost out of the four of them. Or actually, now that I say that, there is five ghosts, because they also did the blue one when you've eaten, like, the bigger pellet. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's this one down here at the bottom. So seriously, a cool figure to have in the collection. I think I mentioned it while I was there. I now have Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and Inky, and I probably should have got the rest of them, but I was already getting a lot today, so I decided not to go for every single thing I was looking for. But that doesn't mean we're not going to be going back there because I do want to go eventually. Maybe in a couple months we'll have to check it out again because they did have some really, really amazing stuff. I mean, you guys saw it. It was like a kid in a candy store. But I digress. And taking a look at Inky a little bit closer up, I love the way they did him with the hands as well as him floating. It's a really well done figure. Especially for ones that released in 2016. And now that I've got this one, I definitely want to complete the set. Then for another games figure that I got, we now have this one back in the collection. It is the Pop Minecraft and we've got the Chase tuxedo cat. And I love how they did this figure, especially because the normal one that isn't the chase is actually an ocelot, so it's just like in the game. And I think the tuxedo cat was a perfect one to go with, and I know Noah's girlfriend Emily actually has a tuxedo cat named Tux, so she might want to take this one from me. So Emily, if you're watching, I'll find you another one. You can't have this one, though. I mean, that is if you even want it. I don't know if you do. Then, everybody, I got one kind of expensive figure today, and this is actually really cool because Jerry let me go behind the cash to check them all out. And the one that I ended up going with was one from Plants vs. Zombies, because I I don't know if you guys know, I am a huge fan of the game. Recently downloaded it, like I would say, maybe like late 2022 and beat the entire game again. It was like $4 on Steam, so I figured why not? And anyways, the one that I decided to go with for today was the Sunflower from Plants vs. Zombies. And that's because the only other one that I have in the collection at the moment is the Conehead Zombie that I got years ago, I believe over at Comic-Con, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but I thought it'd be fun to have another one for the collection. It's also just one of my favorite game sets because of how unique they are, like the Sunflower as well as the pea shooter are just like completely different from a normal pop. And also, if you're wondering why I didn't go for the pea shooter, it's because I was looking at the box and there was a little bit of damage on the back and he was very open about it. It wasn't like he was hiding it, but I noticed it and I was like, you know what, for that price, I'm probably not gonna go for it. And also, when it comes to older figures, it's hard to get a perfect box. It's just I noticed that, so I figured I might as well go for this one instead. And now that is all of the figures that I purchased, but then at the very end, while I was cashing out, Jerry was like, you know what, I wanna give you something, Tristan. And this was super nice of him because it's actually one that I needed for my collection.
collection, and I can't wait to show you guys this. So Jerry, thank you so much for the gift, but he was nice enough to give me this one here, guys, the Monsters University Mike Wazowski. It's just such an amazing pop, and I got the Monsters University Sully a little while ago, so now the only one that I need is Randall Bo Boggs, Boogs, Boggs, and then I've got every single one of them. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I've ever said his last name out loud. Boggs, Boogs, let me know what you think. And well, anyways, guys, there we go. That is everything for today. And please let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like me to go back to Jerry's Toys in the future because I feel like I'm probably going to anyways, but I want to hear what you guys think of the store because it is probably the craziest store that I've ever seen for Funko Pops. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you tomorrow.